Right then, hello and welcome to Sports Car GT. Now you're probably wondering, haven't I played Sports Car GT before on the channel? Yes, I have, but that was the Sony PlayStation version. I have never played the PC version until today. Um, and I've got to thank my good friend James, or Jam Sankith, for sending me his copy of Sports Car GT uh, for me to play on the channel. And that is exactly what I'm doing. So thank you very much, James. I will pop a link uh, in the description to his channel, so please go and check him out. He plays a whole range of games like uh, MotoGP, WRC, even non-racing games like the FIFA Pro Football uh, games as well. So yeah, thank you very much, James. I do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I won't suck <laughs> at this game like I did on the PlayStation version. But um, so yeah, all I've done is set up the game, set up the graphics, the controls, everything else. And we're going to do a career mode. Uh, I've already bought the first car. I've gone through them and this was the uh, best car I like the look of, which is car number 82. It's a Porsche 911. Uh, all the other ones are pretty basic. You got other Porsches, BMWs, panels, Esperante, and this and the other. Uh, we're going to be in the GT qualifying class like we were on the PlayStation version as well. And you can buy parts, but I'm not actually going to buy anything for the car just yet. Um, so I'm just going to leave everything as standard. And uh, this is the point standings at the moment. Everyone has zero, of course, because it's a new season. Um, I will go through the options, actually, for a new season. I've put the race lengths on medium because that is a 20 minutes race length. If I had it on maximum, it would be an hour. So, uh, yeah, the races are in time as well. You can, I think you can have it on laps as well. Uh, but, yeah, this is more authentic anyway. So 20 minute races, uh, which is ideal race length as well for the uh, video. Uh, difficult opponents on maximum and the number of opponents on maximum as well. So there's going to be 16 cars on the grid, which is fantastic compared to the six that we had on the PlayStation version. So let's have a look at the schedule then. We have three races to do in the GTQ. We have uh, Chatham, Sardian Park, and North Point. Uh, Chatham is basically a, a, a roval, so that's not too bad. Uh, Sardian Park is uh, looks very similar to something on R Factor uh, and North Point. If you notice, though, the, the logo just before the intro of the game uh, was the same company who did our factor. So there you go. OK, then. So let's get ready. I'm not going to qualify for these races either. I'm just going to stay uh, at the back and uh, just see how we get on, really. So uh, let's get race one underway. And here we go, then. Uh, like I said, you got a couple of camera views. I'll go through them in just a second. But off we go. 20 minutes. And uh, you can hear a couple of uh, audio pops there. That is, like I said, it's to be expected. Little audio glitches or graphical glitches with older games, it is to be expected. So the fact that this game runs and it runs really quite well. Oh, oh there's a lot of barging going on there. I think one car has just been turned. Um, yeah, I'll quickly go through the camera feed. you got the uh, out chase cam in car. Oh, oh, the Porsche has just been turned by the Beamer. Okay. There's a lot of fighting going on up ahead then. Bloody hell. It's all going on. Oh, and the Beamer's lost it as well. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay. We made it through the melee. And he's just been held up by the Porsche. I'm going to take those two positions. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick this view, but you also have a track camera as well, which looks really snazzy. But I'm going to stay on in-car view. Uh, chase cam is all right, but in-car is a lot more comfortable for me. Okay, that was a bit of a hectic first lap. Uh, already up into seventh after all that shenanigans going on. Okay, we're uh, drafting the panels. And hopefully we can get past the other panels as well. I say panels, it's usually panels or whatever. Potato, potato. Same as Porsche as well. I say Porsche, people say Porsche. It's a uh, dialect preference, really. Okay, so that was a very energetic and manic start from everyone, starting lap two uh, up into fifth. So these four cars up ahead, they're the ones I got to get past, and hopefully I can get past and uh, take the lead. Oh, the Beamer's just going to block his line. That's all right. Looks like we got past him easily. And we'll just outbreak the other BMW as well. Go into the S's. And there we go, up into third. So, yeah, I mean, 
my first opinions on this game are amazing. I mean, it is so absolutely phenomenal that it runs as well as it does on a newer system. And, you know, I mean, yes, you're going to get some audio pops or glitches and maybe some, even some graphical glitches as well. I mean, but for the fact that there's not really much in the way of that happening is phenomenal. It is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I am very pleased with uh, how this game is performing. And, uh, yeah, it looks good as well for its age. I mean, it may not be... Uh, winning any beauty contests or anything like that, but it looks really good for its age. <clears throat> now we're just going to take the uh, lead away from the BMW, it seems. Is he still there? Yeah, we got past him. Right, we're in the lead. Look at that. And he took a couple of laps as well. I'm just going to block my line. And you can hear the announcer as well, the actual commentator at the circuit. You can hear him on the loudspeakers as you go past him. It's really cool. Little attention to details like that. I do appreciate it. It shows that the development team really did put a lot of care and attention into these games. Unlike games these days where development teams only really care about the money. And they miss out so many details with games that you know could be added or this, that and the other. Um... But yeah, this is exactly why I love playing older racing games on the channel, because they are so much more fun to play. And you can really tell, you know, just from how a game feels, how it handles, how it looks, how much TLC has gone into making them, which is really good. And there's a few games these days that you really can't say the same. So, uh, yeah, I approve of this game. It's only taken <laughs> 22 years for me to actually play it, but there you go. I didn't have a PC in 1999. I was a relative late bloomer when it came to PC gaming. I didn't get my first PC until 2000. So, uh, yeah. But there we go. We live and learn, then we die and forget it all. There you go. You can hear the announcer on the side of the circuit there. It's just really cool. Really, really awesome. And we are now leading by uh, 0.2 of a second, is that right? Well, that's the interval, or is that the time interval? I'm not really sure. Let's get past you, lap traffic. Come on, where's the blue flags? Come on, get out of the way. Uh, actually, no, the interval, I, I don't think that's the, uh, the distance from the bloke behind. I think that's the uh, overall time of the lap. So I will double check that anyway. Yeah, it is. The overall time of the lap, how far you are ahead of your lap time, and this, that, and the other. So we've got 14 minutes to go. We've only had... Uh, coming up to 6 minutes done. And we've already taken the lead after that. Manic, hectic start where everyone just piled into one another and spun each other, right? But that's absolutely fine. Easy pickings for us. Uh, we can get a first victory for race number one. Now, I did get myself another game as well recently, which, uh, again, I have to thank uh, a longtime subscriber of mine, uh, Mikel Ferreras, who mentioned uh, GP500, which is an old... Uh, motorcycle racing game from 1999, uh, made by Microprose as well, they're the same guys who made uh, the Grand Prix series. Um, and uh, yeah, I did buy that game, it was like £2.49 on eBay. So I grabbed it and uh, what have you. Um, I was going to do a series on that, I was going to record that today. Um, but for some weird reason... The game kept freezing after about five minutes. It would just lock up completely and just kick me back onto the desktop. So, yeah, I uninstalled that game and I installed this one instead. So, I'll, I'll look for a workaround and see if I can get that game to work. Uh, but there's also a few glitches on that one, see, uh, which came about during the Windows XP days. 
uh, for some weird reason, the game would have a fast forward bug or a uh, super speed bug for some reason that uh, it would be like the, the game speed would increase to times 50 for about a second uh, and then go back to normal again. But uh, yeah, there was never any real fix for it, I don't think. But I'll have a scout around anyway and see if there is a, uh, a fix for the game because I would like to do some motorcycle racing games uh, just to see, you know, just to have a bit more variety because we've had a lot of car racing games. We've had horse racing games, for God's sake. Um, you know, it's, it's time for a bit of motorcycle racing as well. But I do have another one on the way as well, uh, which I seen on eBay, which was uh, SBK08 or the Superbike Championship 2008. So I did uh, buy that one as well. It was only £1.99, so I thought, yeah, why not? So I'm waiting for that one to be delivered, which should be here between now and the 21st. Uh, so yeah. I do uh, go on eBay on the regulars and see what fun little deals they have for racing games, just so I can uh, play on the channel. Because, I mean, it would be so easy to just to go on these, like, sites and download all these ISO files and this, that, and the other, but to be honest, I would much rather have the physical copy, because at least then I know that I'm not going to be infecting my computer with viruses, so... For anyone else who keeps asking, where do you download this game? I don't. I buy them off eBay. Go on there and get yourself a bargain. No, I am not in any way affiliated with eBay or its associates. I just go on there because they have some good deals. Right, coming up to the midpoint of the race end. 10 minutes, 43 seconds remaining. And we've pulled out a humongous lead. Uh, not going to beat the lap time yet either. 0.2 of a second back on our lap time. Uh, however, worryingly, our fuel is looking a bit low. So I hope I don't have to go into the pits and make a, a pit stop for fuel. Otherwise that would be a bit poopy. But there you go. I'll try and conserve a bit of fuel by letting off the throttle, letting the car coast in the corners. Like so. And that should set me up for the other corners there, see? Now coming up to some more lap traffic. Hopefully they won't get in the way. There we go. Race midpoint. I wonder if the AI retire on this game. I'll have to uh, ask James because, I mean, he's played this quite a bit, I think. Um, so the PlayStation version, the AI never retired. I don't actually think they even picked up any damage. So, I mean, if the AI on the PC version do pick up damage and uh, wreck out of the race, then that would be, a, you know, more authentic. Especially for the longer endurance races. I'll get past you. Thank you very much. Get out of the way, panels. Right, let's go in uh, chase cam for a while, shall we? Just to have a look at our car. I like the little uh, graphic on the bottom left there as well. Looks like something that you would find from a, a 90s uh, race broadcast on a speed network. So yeah, I mean the graphics look pretty damn good to be honest. Again, just let off the throttle, let it coast, save a bit of fuel. Yeah, I, <laughs> it's a little bit harder to control the car in this view, I must admit. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely prefer the in-car view. So we probably will go back into that view at some point. But yeah, I mean, the, the game doesn't look all too bad. For a 22-year-old game, at least. And there are some games that are far newer that look a lot worse. So yeah, we'll give it that. Okay, let's go back in car then, shall we? Boink! And we're on board. And uh, we got 7 minutes 48 seconds to go. 
I need to do a bit more fuel saving, I think. But we've lapped quite a number of cars now, so... As long as we stay out of trouble, we don't get spun or anything like that, we should be alright for the race victory. Which would be good. A race victory on our debut. Or debut, as it's spelt. Right, just let off the throttle again. Just let it coast in the corners. Save a bit of fuel. See, this is Formula One style fuel management. And again, I honestly don't know if it does anything by saving or letting off the throttle to save fuel. Um, like I said, because this is the first time I've actually played this game proper. So, uh, I honestly hope I don't have to go into the pit, so that would be a bit of a pain. But, uh, only six and three quarter minutes to go of the first race of the season. A bit of smoke, that looked like. The smoke is a little bit thick, I must admit. If there is a, a car spinning in front of you, the, the smoke just goes very opaque. There's hardly any transparency there at all. Again, just let off the throttle. Let it go, stay behind the panels, let him draft, or pull us along, then we'll be alright. Oh, trying to block his line, when in fact he shouldn't be because he's a lapped car, so technically he should get out the way. Or he goes into the pits. Okay, so I think you do have to make a pit stop then. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit worrying then. I will have a look at the ticker at the bottom. Just to make sure. If anyone else goes into the pits. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, this is a little bit worrying now. But if you notice as well, the uh, the little logo before the uh, intro to the game itself was the same logo as the developers who made R Factor. So uh, yeah, you can see a few little stark similarities as well, like a little ticker at the bottom there showing everyone their positions. And we have a car stopped on the circuit. Uh, looks like he's spun. Just seen there, he was in ninth place at the time. Again, I'm just letting off the throttle, let it coast just to make sure that I don't run out of fuel. It seemed to be, oh, I don't know, the fuel is looking a bit low. Got four and a half minutes to go exactly. I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit apprehensive. Shall I go into the pits to get some fuel or... Oh, I don't know. That little bar at the side doesn't really tell me how much fuel we got left, as in numbers-wise. I mean, uh, if it told me you have, like, 0.2 of a litre left of fuel, then yeah, I would go into the pits to refuel, but I mean, I don't know. I would just let off the throttle every chance I get, and half throttle it around the track. Uh, I think we should be alright. We've got three minutes, well, just under four minutes to go. Warning, low fuel. Thank you, Socrates, for that. Yeah, I can see I got low fuel. Okay, right, so I'm gonna let off the throttle here. Let it coast. Oh man, can you imagine if I ran out of fuel right at the end? Bloody hope I don't. Right, let's get past the panels at least. Oh, don't squeeze me towards the pit wall, you git. Are we past him? Yeah, we're past him. Well, I can't really see anybody else going into the pits, so... 
I don't know. Are we going to have to make a stop, or will we have just enough fuel to get to the end? Alright, let off the throttle again, let it coast. God, I hope we have enough fuel. That's this is worrying now. Are more people going into the pits? Yes, they are. Ah. Um. Hmm. Okay, this is worrying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a pit stop. Right near the end. Hopefully, my fuel holds out. I'm just going to have to coast it the whole way. Get past you if you'll let me. Nope. Okay, so this is going to be my first uh, glance at a pit stop then. I'll remember this for next time. Nope, get out of the way. Yeah, everyone's going in. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, damage, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. okay. Okay, so I will remember then, for, uh, rank two, is to, oh, I didn't need to put that much fuel in, crap. Am I gonna lose a lead? Hopefully not. Come on. Oh no, you've got to be kidding me. I'm going to lose the race because I put in too much bloody fuel. Well, son of a bitch. No, I'm blocking you. Unless he hasn't gone into the pits yet. If he hasn't... Oh, he's alongside. I'm going to have to let him go. Um, unless the current leader hasn't pitted yet and he has to go in. And we'll pip him at the post at the line. Uh, well, at least we know what pit stops look like in this game now, which is good. More experience. But yeah, I think race two then I'm going to have to go into the pits maybe halfway. Uh, to replenish my fuel. So I think we've got one more lap then, because we've only got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yet yeah, the white flag is out. Yay, I have to retaken the lead, so he did have to pit on the last lap. Awesome. Ah, well, that's made me a bit happier then. So the white flag is out then, last lap. And uh, we'll be done. We'll take our first victory at this lovely uh, easy circuit, little roval. I'll remember next time, though, not to put in so much fuel. I think we only needed, like, well, not even... A quarter of a tank. But there we go. We take our first victory. And the crowd, which aren't actually existent, uh, go crazy. Hooray! We get a victory. Total time, 20 minutes, 46.5. And we've done 26 laps. That's not too bad. First. I like it. I can imagine the Your Winner trophy. Um... But that's another game entirely. So, yay, we got our first victory then. Look at that. Uh, we take the victory then. 26 laps. Uh, we lapped quite a few people, actually. Everyone's still crossing the start-finish line. Uh, there's another Dan as well. Dan Marvin. Ooh, that's my rival for this season then. And uh, no one retired. But everyone else is finishing now. So, 8th place is just crossed the line. So, it's ninth. Yeah, you can hear the popping in the background. The audio glitches. So, uh, yeah, we'll just, can we, uh, exit this? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Wonderful. That went, uh, remarkably well. So there we go. We get, uh, total credits awarded 38,498 credits. Wonderful. Uh, difficulty bonus, 20,000 and race length bonus, 10,000. Imagine if we did an hour, that would probably be up to like 60 or 40,000. But there we go. So we now have 58,000 credits and we lead the championship at the moment by 11 points to 7. Um, and let's have a look then. Uh, Sardian Park is round number 2, but we shall do that next time. So I'll leave it here for now. 
Thank you very much for watching as always. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the PC version of Sports Car GT. My uh, first opinion and the uh, synopsis of it is it's absolutely fantastic. It has a few little bugs and glitches, but again, it's a 22 year old game. You can't really expect much um, from a game that works as well as this one does being 20 odd years old. So even most 20 year old individuals don't work. So there you go. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you for the ooh, 25 minute race next time. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you then.